Hi, this is Deborah Torres, author of Amish Fiction, and here I am in my new kitchen. Uh, we just moved into a new house not too long ago, and I'm super excited to um, see what, what, what's going to happen <laughs> in this house, uh, what all the wonderful books that will be written in this house. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to tell you that I'm super excited because um, we're going to be starting a new cookbook. Uh, I've made two cookbooks so far, and hopefully you've been able to um, to get them. They're free cookbooks, that digital versions, and um, often they're um, acquired by signing up for my author newsletter. Um, so this one is a brand new cookbook, and this one is gonna be special in a way that it's going to be filled with recipes from Amish book readers like yourself. So that's the super exciting part for me is, um, you know, I know like uh, if you're anything like me, you love Amish books, and an Amish recipe just means something sort of special to you. Um, so anyway, I am starting, going to be doing an event uh, starting this week, and I will invite as many people as I can uh, to it. Basically, in the event, it's, not, it's going to be basically a place where you just come and add your uh, recipe. Uh, so the couple of rules, the recipe needs to be original if it can be. Uh, we can't just pull from a cookbook and put it down uh, because it violates copyright rules. Um, but you can, uh, if you do have a cook, uh, an Amish recipe that's in a cookbook that you love, um, you can um, add the ingredients and just create, um, twist it a little bit uh, with your own language, um, the directions, the instructions and the recipe. Then we can use that and that won't violate copyright rules as far as I understand. Um, but anyway, uh, super excited for y'all to join my event. And while, um, to, uh, to commemorate that, I am making some Amish uh, sour cream chocolate chip cookies. I have a friend at work who's leaving this week and super sad to see him go, but I'm gonna send him along with a batch of Amish sour cream chocolate chip cookies. Uh, recipe from Amish 365, one of my favorite uh, sites for Amish recipes. Uh, so I'm gonna just show you a little bit about what I'm doing here with these cookies and be looking for my event. Uh, so you can add your recipe that will hopefully be added to this Amish cookbook that I'm creating uh, for Amish book readers. Thanks. Okay, so I've got my camera set up. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this, so we'll see how it goes. So basically this is um, part of the recipe. This was um, sour cream and um, butter and, oh goodness, two, two types of sugars. Um, and four eggs. So this is kind of the creamy part of the chocolate chip cookie dough recipe. And this was just flour and baking soda and I think some salt, I think that's it. But anyway, um, I'm just gonna add this in here. Now the recipe did call for some um, oil instead of butter and I just kind of wasn't into putting a cup of oil into my cookies. So we did butter instead. Butter's always better huh, in my book. Um, so we're just going to stir it together. Now, I've never made these recipes before. I have made um, a sour cream uh, Christmas cookie recipe before. It wasn't an Amish one, though. But it, um, it turned out kind of fluffy, and I'm not really much of a fluffy cookie lover. I like my cookies a little bit more crunchy. Um, so hopefully this won't turn out fluffy. When I asked my husband which one I should make, he said the sour cream one. So... We went with that, and the picture in the Amish 365 recipe um, was pretty good. Of uh, the, I like my chocolate chip cookies um, like chunky and um, thick, and that's what it looked like. So, anyway, that's what we've got. Okay, hi everyone. You can see me um, now. We're going to um, put the cookies onto the cookie sheet. And I know that you all have done this before. If you've done any kind of baking, you know you know the routine. Um, you take a tablespoon or more. I like to make my cookies a little bigger. Um, so I mean, I go more for like the like the walnut kind of size um, cookies, um, just because cookies are one of my favorites. There's not a lot of. There are quite a few things desserts that I like decide just really aren't worth the calories. Um, some things that maybe I just don't like as much, but in my mind, home-baked cookies are pretty much up there on the top of my list. Um, one of the things on the top of my list of things that are worth the calories. So, so why not make yourself a good cookie? 
Um, so anyway, we're gonna go ahead and just make some cookie balls. Now this recipe, I do make chocolate chip cookies often. Um, I make them probably uh, every week, <laughs> once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Um, so anyway, these feel different. They, they feel a little sticky and I'm guessing it's because of the sour cream. This one's a little big because of the sour cream. So they do feel a little sticky, but um, still feel pretty incredible and, and different in a way, which is something that I wanted, something that was a little different and um, not routine. So anyway, again, Amish, Amish sour cream chocolate chip cookies. Okay, so these cookies look pretty good. And I just wanted to show you from the oven's perspective uh, just how good they look. Um, look at how puffy they look. And I'm gonna take them out before they get super brown. See if I can do this and still hold the phone and not burn anything <laughs> or myself. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull them out and close the oven up. And there they are. So we got a whole bunch of dough to go. This, this recipe makes a good deal of cookies. So you don't need to double it, I don't think. It had six cups of flour in it. So anyway, here we are, some wonderful Amish sour cream cookies. Okay, before I have family members coming, running down the stairs for these cookies, because they're smelling really good, I just wanted to remind you, I'm gonna be starting a Facebook event on my Facebook page, and that's where you're gonna be able to go and add your recipe. Um, remember, it's just an Amish recipe that's special to you. We're gonna um, have you add the Amish recipe and add um, actually your favorite Amish book and maybe a favorite Amish author as well uh, on there. I'll let you know uh, when I figure it out. But anyway, um, super excited. We'll see you over on the event this week, um, probably early this week. <laughs> we'll let you know. Okay, well, thank you and God bless you and enjoy, uh, enjoy the cookies. <laughs>